Hi and welcome back to another TechMinds video. So in this video, we'll primarily be testing the different modes that FreeDV offers within the software itself. And you'll be surprised at how different each mode sounds when decoded. Now, if you don't know what FreeDV is, then let me briefly explain. Now, FreeDV or Free Digital Voice is an application that uses a completely free and open source digital codec. This means it's open for us hams to experiment with without the worry of breaking some kind of laws with manufacturers close technology. And a big part of ham radio is researching, developing and testing. Oh, and learning. Now, FreeDV is a software application that can run on a few different operating systems, such as Windows, Linux and Mac OS. There's also a piece of hardware called the SM1000, which eliminates the need for a computer at all but more about that in another video. Now, FreeDV can be used literally on any handbag and over most modes. FreeDV over SSB is very popular on the HF bands, while up on 2 meters and 70 centimeters, you can even use it on FM, which is what I will be testing today. Now, FreeDV is also being used via the Q0100 geostationary satellite, something which I've not yet done so, but I hope to soon. And once you've downloaded the FreeDV application, it will need to be configured to work with your radio. Of course, you will need cat control so the software can control the PTT, i.e. put it into transmit and then back to receive modes automatically. You will also need to route the audio in and out from the radio to your computer. Now you can perform this by making your own cables or buying ready-made solutions like the DigiRig mobile device. Now in this video, I'll be using an FT991 by Yesu, which has a USB cable between the computer and the radio. Now this provides both audio in and out, plus a virtual COM port, which I'll be using to control the PTT. For the higher end modes of FreeDV, which uses more bandwidth for a higher bitrate, it results in a better sound quality. And this requires the use of 9K6 connections, which are found on the rear of most radios. Now I've spoken about this before in other videos, but essentially the 9K6 ports have unfiltered audio, which helps with the decoding of digital transmissions. Now the next segment of this video will be myself and Jonathan M0JSX performing free DV tests on the two meter band with our radios set to FM. Now Jonathan is around 30 kilometers away from me, so the signal wasn't exactly strong on reception both ways, but it was enough for FreeDV to work. Now we'll go through each of the digital modes that FreeDV offers. Now listen out to how each of the modes audio quality changes, and you'll be surprised by the time we get to the last one that actually worked. This is uh, M0DQW calling M0JSX, M0JSX, M0DQW calling on 700D with FreeDV. Uh, how's the audio sound in, uh, Jonathan? Can you hear me okay? Yeah, zero DQW, zero JSX, uh, resounding, yeah. Sorry, Matt. Um, yeah, you're you telling me about, about uh, digital quality to it, uh, as we come to expect from these digital modes, but uh, you're certainly intelligible, um, in, but it's not as uh, clear as you would be on analog, but uh, you're only about um, S5 on the meter, but uh, no problems at all getting the, the software to uh, decode you. Uh, M0DQW, M0JSX, uh, back to you. Okay, so this uh, this is 700E, this is 700E, M0JSX, M0DQW, uh, now using 700E. Not entirely sure if it's going to make that much difference between the last one, but uh, I'll put it back to you for an over, M0JSX from M0DQW. M0DQW, uh, M0JSX. So returning. That's, well, I would say it's, it's slightly better. It's not uh, a night and day difference by any stretch of the imagination, but uh, I would say it's slightly better than uh, than the uh, 700 D mode, uh, but definitely still sounding very much uh, digital and got lots of the digital artifacts to it. Uh, back to you, uh, M0 DQW, M0 KSX. Uh, M0JSX, M0JSX, this is M0DQW, uh, hopefully running mode 1600-1600 using 3DV. 
Uh, over to you, uh, Jonathan. Hopefully you can hear me. M0 JSX, M0 DQW. How does it sound? DW from M0 JSX returning. Yeah, I think okay, it sounds really good, uh, Matt. Uh, it certainly sounds a lot better than the, the 700 mode. Uh, if, um, if not uh, quite as, uh, as good as analog, it's probably on a par with the likes of the Fusion uh, or FM or possibly DLR. And I would say it sounds it's just slightly better than the D-Star does. Um, how about you? What do you think? M0 DQW, M0 JSX. Yeah, M0 JSX, M0 DQW returning. Yeah, it's definitely improving as we're going down the list here of the different modes. Uh, it's uh, it's definitely improving. I guess it's uh, maybe using a higher bit rate or maybe even uh, uh, more bandwidth and a higher bit rate um, at the same time. So uh, it's going to be interesting to see uh, how, how well it sounds as we go down further. But uh, yeah, 1600 definitely has a, um, a better sound quality uh, than the previous two. Okay, so for me, the next one on the list is 700C. Uh, just confirm that's the next one for you, and then once you dekey, I'll come back with 700C, over. I'm zero D, I'm zero J, I'm zero J, I'm zero J, 700C is my next, uh, and then 800 and the 2020 mode. Uh, M0JSX, M0JSX, this is M0DQW. Hopefully now running 700 Charlie, uh, mode 700 Charlie on 3DV. Uh, over to you, uh, Jonathan. DQW, yeah, Roger, I, got you there. I don't think it sounds as good as 1500, uh, but I'd say it sounds better than 700 Delta. Um, it's a bit of a weird one trying all of these most factor backers to define which one's the best, but it uh, certainly sounds nice, sounds okay, but not, I would say, to my ear, as good as, as 1600 uh, back here. Okay, this is uh, M0DQW calling M0JSX using 800 X-ray alpha. M0JSX, M0DQW, copy. Yeah, M0DQW, M0JSX, returning. Yeah, Roger, all copy on that. Uh, I would say uh, definitely not as good as 1600, uh, but still perfectly audible and uh, with, uh, with sort of the, the digital artifacts that we've come to expect. But, uh, Perhaps the weakest mode so far in terms of decoding my side. M0 DQW, M0 JSX. Okay, uh, M0 JSX, this is uh, M0 DQW, now hopefully on mode 2020 using 3DV. Uh, M0 JSX, M0 DQW, can you hear me over? M0 DQW, M0 JSX. Uh, I did uh, copy most of that, uh, Matt. There was a little bit of um, digital breakup, but uh, when the audio was there, it uh, was probably uh, as close to analog that I've heard to digital sound, to be completely honest with you. Um, I want uh, um, how you're copying this over from me. M0 DQW, M0 JSX. Yeah, M0, M0 JSX, uh, M0 DQW. Well, uh, th there's a little bit of garble, a little bit of wobble to it. Uh, but uh, you can definitely tell that the clarity is extremely clearer uh, than all of the previous modes that we've tried so far. Uh, it's definitely, definitely, definitely the best so far, uh, and presumably higher bit rate, um, producing more, uh, uh, more audible range for us to hear. So uh, definitely sounding more natural than the others, apart from a little bit of digital warble, uh, which I was experiencing. Um, hopefully that should be a long enough over for you to uh, hear me and uh, and then let me know your thoughts on, on this on this mode. Uh, M0JSX, M0DQW. M0DQW, M0JSX. Yeah, Roger, I've got you there. Uh, that was a nice long over, Matt, and uh, I copied uh, a good sort of 80% of your over and there was... Um, what would be described as R2D2 on D star, up in the middle, which I can't quite understand why that happened. The um, the sync, I uh, was trying to pin down the moment and I think got a little bit confused, uh, but um, it did eventually settle down on, on 2020. And uh, yeah, it definitely sounds a lot more natural. I think it must be a, a 
either a combination of a higher bit rate and a slightly more bandwidth or just uh, I'm just going for a higher bit rate uh, alone. But it certainly sounds uh, very nice. And um, I have high hopes now for uh, the 2020 Bravo uh, M0 DQW M0 JSX. Now, we did try 2020 Bravo, which is the last mode on 3DV. Now, unfortunately, it sounded like this. Well, at least for me receiving Jonathan. As you can hear, it was slightly choppy and quite garbled. Now, that's either down to a couple of things. That's either because the signal between us was a bit too weak. We were, I think we we're reading each other around an S5, S6 on two meters. Or the other issue, which is most likely, is that the audio is actually filtered via the USB port on my FT991, which means that it could affect the audio bandwidth and quality that's coming into 3DV from the radio. Now, what I should have done is tried using the rear RITI port or data port, which has the 9K6, but I didn't have the cable to hand. Apparently, though, Jonathan heard me better on 2020 Bravo than I heard him. And I believe Jonathan will be releasing a video on this experiment that we've done in the near future. So I'll leave a link to his channel so you can go and check it out and hear what I sounded like on the other end. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And until the next one, stay safe, take care, thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll speak to you on the airwaves soon. Take care.